What up? Let's see who's up. Who's rocking with me? So listen. I peace Buffalo. What's good? You know, I try to stay away from certain things at certain times because everybody's talking about it. What up? What up? What up? What up, everybody? Just waking up. It's twelve thirty where I'm at. Twelve thirty where I'm at. I just got off a long video last night. That's why I do my videos at night. Um, because I'm finished what I'm doing. I can't waste my whole day dealing with people. I'm being real that don't do anything. So I do my stuff at night when I come in. But this was on it was weighing heavy on me, man. Weighing heavy on me. If y'all didn't see the video I did last night, when I broke down a Black Panther movie, I told you what was going on. I told you about the spies. I told you about the deception. Let me let me let me see if I can grab something for y'all. There's a chapter in the Art of War, right? Let me share something. My day is not complete without he hearing some great info. Give thanks. Hold up. Man. So, here you go. I'm going to share something with y'all, man. We are the worst people. We are our worst enemies. There's a chapter in this book that I want to show y'all that says all war is based on deception. Right? All war is based on deceptions. You have spies everywhere. Right? This book has so much in it. I'm not going to get into it because there's no need for me to do that right now. This book in this book. This is what these they wave war, wage war against us with. Right? I woke up this morning. I was listening to Kendrick Lamar's song, the Black Panther movie. He talked about how they corrupt the man's heart by giving them gifts. I'm going to say this one more time. If you ever listen to the Black Panther song, listen to the Kendrick Lamar song, All the Stars. If you listen to it over and over and over and over, there is a chapter in this art of war. This book. This book, if I can find it for you. It talks about giving them gifts. In this book, it talks about giving them gifts. Okay? This, these books are strategy books. You see how that is? So bear with me for these Negroes that be on Fox News and CNN. Yep, black skin, white man said the same thing. No doubt. That's sitting over there too. So listen, I have that book also. If y'all don't know what that book is, let me see if I can show it to y'all. You have to be equipped, people. And these educated Negroes are the ones that's the problem. Just like I said in the movie, I mean, the movie Black Panther. Where's my black skin white mask? I can't find it. But I have it. The streets mess with you heavy. No doubt. Give shout out to the streets, man. Shout out to the streets. So listen. I was watching something. I woke up. When I wake up, my phone is lit from inboxes on Facebook to IG, my text messages. My box is lit, y'all. Real rap, lit up. And I'm on a different time zone than most people. People, share this out. Please share this out. I want y'all to hit the Fox News people. I want you to hit the CNN Negroes. So listen, I got woke up and a brother said, yo, Sabir, you have to get back on radio, brother. You have to get back to radio. You can analyze anything that they throw at somebody. I watch most of these dudes YouTube. This is what a brother told me. They don't break it down the way you break it down, brother. This is what a brother told me. If I if I if he if he want me to share this with y'all, I'll post it up on IG for y'all so you you can believe what I'm saying to you. 
I would post it up on IG so you can see the messages that people tell me. They say they watch people videos. They don't break it down the way you break it down, brother. So you have to get back on radio. The reason why I walked away a couple of times is because the people was not supporting me. I can go head to head with anybody they put on CNN or Fox News. These Negroes they put on CNN and Fox News? Really? Think about it. I'm going to play something for y'all. I'm going to show you how they play people and how they try to play the minister. And Negroes are going along with it. And all of you Negroes want to go see Black Panther movie. Y'all still didn't get the message. It was a feel good session. OK, that movie for most Negroes was entertainment and a feel good session. Did you get anything out of the movie? Or are we still doing the same thing in the 21st century? Think about it. Why do you think they don't want real cats on TV? I don't know where they get these analysts from, but I'm going to show you all something. Listen to this dude. Listen close to what this dude said. Louis Farrakhan, known for hateful, disgusting, racist remarks like this. Your country has been taken from you by the synagogue of Satan. The satanic Jews. White folks are going down. As I said before, that was 20, 2006, 2014, and 2016. So why are, 20, excuse me, 2018. So why are Democrats calling out members of their own party who continue to meet with them? Here to debate, Democratic strategist Antoine Seawright and former Democrat, editor-in-chief of CampusReform.org. Where do they get these dudes from? Gentlemen, thank you both for being here. So Antoine, I want to set this up for you for a second. Where so do they get got, these guys from? Um, you know, The View, Joy Behar defending him. You've got Barack Obama having met with him. We saw the photo of that. Maxine Waters, Keith Ellison. These are all, right. all normalizing Louis Farrakhan. What would happen if, let's just to use a comparison, Ronna McDaniel, George W. Bush, Sean Hannity and Jim Jordan had all decided to meet with David Duke. What would the left be saying about that? Why is the left not denouncing Louis Farrakhan full Why? stop? Well, I don't know. Let's stop this for a minute. Word normalizing, but what I can tell you personally is that. Why would they have to denounce him? Would it ask, answer me this question, y'all. Where the hell? I don't give a damn where they graduated from. This is what the Negroes are in college. Miseducated. This is what they are. Miseducated. I don't want to play too much of this because you know how they, they'll make any excuse up to try to block it because I'm using CNN. But they use clips of Minister Farrakhan. They took sound bites. Sound bites. But wait a minute. With someone, it is generally understood let me, let me that get you're, this you're normalizing them. You're saying, hey, this is someone that's acceptable to me that I want to know those members specifically. I know them personally. two sides. You know, listen to this Negro. Say target the Louis Farrakhan can. You mean like he's automatically assumed as a racist, but Louis Farrakhan can. You mean like when he says two sides? Jews. You know, he can literally say target the Jews. This is the nation of Islam is one that targets women. Uh, the nation of Islam kill their own when they decide to leave the faith. Just ask Lawrence, Lawrence, Lawrence. Lawrence, which you can't ask because they assassinated him. The ones that can't see through deception. The ones that can't see that they being deceived. You see that? I ain't never heard a nation disrespect women. Never heard them. Never. Right? But you got a president that grabbed a woman and say grab her by her pussy. I don't pay taxes. They stole a land that is not their land over here. Right? And he said, I don't pay taxes. Hold up. Did you hear what I just said? Should I repeat that in? Grab him by the pussy. He's president. Right? I don't pay taxes. I don't pay. Who? Y'all totally forgot what he said that. They're not the original Indians. I'm going to show y'all that in a minute. He said, I don't pay taxes because I'm smart. Nick Rose forgot about that, right? He the one said, and Negroes like him is not fighting. He said, when you put him in a car, remember this. Listen to me. This is why the brother called me today and said, Sabir, you need to get back on radio. 
No, that's not enough to call people to action. You know why? Niggas are comfortable. And, and it's sad to say, it is really sad to say, it's a lot of Christians. It's a lot of good Christian Negroes. Christianity did more damage. The modern day Christianity. I want y'all to share this out. The modern day Christianity did more damage mentally to our people. Mentally to our people than anything else. And then we're going to put them inside of a college and tell them they being educated when in reality they being indoctrinated. Come on, man. Come on, man. So listen. Grab him by the pussy, Trump said. He said, if you put the criminals in a car, bang their head. Who remember that? Remember he talked to a bunch of police officers? Remember that? He said, make sure don't hold them gently. Bang, like, use it. Remember Trump did that? Remember he did that? Y'all totally forgot, right? Malcolm said, the media gonna make you love your oppressor and hate the oppressed. One more time. Love the oppressor and hate the oppressed. The cheapest thing you can buy is a nigga and a stick of gum. A nigga and a stick of gum. This is why you ain't gonna fight against the real cat. 21 likes, 41 watching. It's, it's all love. They're not gonna like this because they may be Jews, and I hope they the fake Jews. Right? He said, I don't pay taxes because I'm smart. Grab them by the pussy. Called football players criminals or animals or whatever. But niggas are still been up there and don't talk about him. Think about it. Think about it. And they stole the land from people. And y'all still trust the dudes that wear ties and I'm smart and I'm, I'm elegant. I speak swell. Trump ain't pay taxes in 10 years. Yeah. But niggas ain't talking about that. You know why? Because now all your energy is being focused on a minister. Listen, the minister has Jews with him, some good Jews with him. It ain't all good, all good. Um, it ain't all um, so-called blacks that's in these positions. I know they can't say nothing. I know a few. So if they would have went to Savior's Day, they would have heard the minister this year. Right. But let me share something with you. I'm going to I'm going to run some things down because it's going to be real short. And if you disagree, come on, bring it. Bring it. Democrat, first and foremost, mean demos classic. Demo classic, which means the demon rule. So be with your brother for a minute. OK, if you can. Y'all want to come after the minister? Let me show you all something in the Constitution. My good Negroes. And these people that call themselves Jews, they're not Jews, baby. They're not the Jews. I'm going to want y'all to look up something also before I do this. Where's that book at? Please, I want you to go online look this up. I want my black good Negroes to get on here. Check it out. I want y'all to look up this documentary. And if somebody see it on there, please post it up here so people won't think I'm making it up. The Jewish kingdom of Cush. I'm going to say this one more time. It's called the Jewish kingdom of Cush. Somebody look it up. Jewish kingdom of Cush. Oh, just look it up. Wrong thing. Give me one minute. Anybody look it up yet? Jewish kingdom of Cush. Ethiopia, right? Ethiopia. So was it any European over there? Hold up. Rock with me for a minute. The king, the Jewish kingdom of Cush, better Israel. Better Israel, which means the house of Israel. Negroes are in college talking about I'm from Kick Sigma Phi Beta K to Meta Hater. Negroes will sit up this I'm from Sigma Phi Beta K to Hey, ho, hey, and bark like dogs. You the worst Negroes, man. The worst Negroes. 
That's what they do. Go to college, bang candy canes, and bark like dogs. But it's called better, not beta. Beta Israel, which is the house of Israel. Think about it. But you in college being indoctrinated, thinking you being educated. I told you this before. Wait one second. So I'm going to take you to another one. Check this out. They are the Zegwe people. I'm going to give you the history. Kush, C-H-C-S-U-H or K-S-U-H. You can spell Kush with a K or a, a C. But if we go back further than that, we can go take it to Zegwe. You see that? Dynasty in Ethiopia, people. These are the Kushites. Do you see this? These are the Kushites. Yeah, I know they sound like that. You see this? These are them. Okay? This is them. You ain't got to do with no damn Ashkenazi Jews, baby. In Negroes, will fight to the end for this. And they just left to go see Black Panther movie. Look up the Zegwe people and then tell me what they look like. Matter of fact, we can probably go on there. We can probably go to images and see what they look like. Let's see. Who are those people? You and I in Ethiopia Hold up. You and I and Ethiopia. So can we possibly be anti-Semitic people? Could we possibly be anti-Semitic? Could Minister Farrakhan be anti himself? But yet you have Negroes that don't do their research, that watch CNN and Fox News. I challenge Fox News. I challenge CNN. So share this to CNN and Fox News. Share this to them. You want somebody real on the radio? I'm going to come back real soon. I'll be back, baby. You want to come at the minister? Like the minister said, it's like if one part of your body ache, all your body ache, right? You don't have to have a last name of Cushite. You don't have to have the last name of that. It could be. That's part of it. You could be that too. You could have the last name Kush. So let me show you something else before I get into this. Because I told you I'm not going to be on here long. I want this CNN and Fox News and all these news people. And I ain't even going to call them fake. I'm going to show you how Trump is talking all this crazy stuff. All this crazy stuff. But niggas ain't stepping up. Cops are shooting your brothers in the street. And niggas ain't stepping up. But niggas are fighting against your own. Niggas are fighting against your own. The cheapest thing you could buy is a nigga and a stick of gum. I'm going to say this one more time. The cheapest thing you can buy is a nigger and a stick of gum. So you're going to have to eventually take the heads off of these Negroes. They took sound bites of Minister Farrakhan. Oh, he said this. He said that. Well, he said the Jews. He said the white man. His reign is over. But the only thing that's keeping it up is niggers. That's the only thing that's keeping it up. So they have to train the niggers at a certain age. That's why. Yeah, you can buy as a nigga and a stick. I'm being real with you, sister. Niggas to sell you in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. Look at the Negroes. Yeah, the Negro pants on CNN and Fox. And look, look at the way their demeanor is. Oh, I don't know. Well, master, I don't know. I want to lose my job. I don't want to. I don't. I, I get them second seven figures. I can't trick that girl no more. I can't trick her no more. If I ain't got my car, I can't get that girl. If I ain't got that new house, that nice house, I can't get that girl. That's how niggas think. Money doesn't make the man. Let me say this again. Money don't make a man. It's free national stances and principles that make a man. Noble draw lay. Let me say this one more time. Money doesn't make a man. It's free national standards and principles that make a man. So these niggas that's on TV, they don't want none of me. They don't want none of this. 
They don't want none of this. So this is the Constitution which most Negroes don't read. I told you, they can manipulate a nigga. Okay? This is the Constitution. The word democracy does not appear once in the Constitution, but I'm going to get into that in a minute. Democracy does not, does not appear once in the Constitution. Not once. So, Negroes that want to be Republicans or Republican Party, which is totally different. Negroes can never be a part of that. You have to have a nationality. You have to have a nationality. Let's go back a little deeper. Okay? Let me go into a dictionary about the Semitic people. And tell me if this fits any of the stuff that these Europeans are doing. Let me see if they're the real Semitic people or not, these so-called Jews. Semite, Hebrew, Shem, son of Noah. Negroes got Bibles and don't even know who they're talking about. They got Bibles and don't even know, right? Arabs, Assyrians, Phoenicians. They ain't none of these people are European. Arabs is not them either. We are the original Arabs. Right? Let me go down. Semitic. Ethiopic. Canaanites. Hebrews. This is not Europeans. So how can we be anti-Semitic? That's foolish to say Minister Farrakhan. Anybody's anti-Semitic. Yes, press the like and share. And share it out. I want y'all to share this out. Share this out. And I told you, my brother told me, he said, Sabir, you got to get back on radio. These are not Europeans, people. These are not Europeans or so-called white people. They're not white people. These are not white people. I'm saying white, y'all, because we got to understand who we're talking to. They're not white people. These are not white people. Okay? They're not. Where's these Negroes at that want to beat up on a minister or beat up on anybody that's standing up for our people? Really? Where are they? I want to know where they at because they never get on my live feed. They, they're the ones that never hit me. They're the ones that never inbox me. They're the ones that don't do that. I've been in this radio game. Let me, and I know some of y'all heard me say this. I've been in this radio game for 15 years. Not blog talk, people. 15 years in radio. So if you think I'm a new jack in this, I've probably been in radio long in you cats. Okay? Longer than you cats. Yeah, they've been playing games for a long time. And they keep breeding the Negro over and over and over and over. The stuff that I know in my head that I heard y'all personally from working at different radio stations, do you know that it was black people that was coming to me telling me that I shouldn't say certain things? I should just get the money? Dog, don't worry about the Negroes. Get the money. Hell with them. They're not worth it. Get the money. No. I'm like my man Chichella in the movie. No, we got to help our people, baby. We got to help our people. Our people are lost. Yeah, you. Had, I had countless Negroes saying that. Let me run the line down to y'all. I had sheriffs, police officers, city council members, attorneys, Negroes at the radio station when I was in Philly. Saying this to me. And they still ain't go nowhere yet. But they're, they're the only black radio station in Philly. Only black radio station in Philly. And they still talking this nonsense. And I left there in 2009. And I tell you the station. WRD. You might turn it on and turn it off. That's what you might do. Turn it on and turn it off. Say what type of Christian garbage is this? Because that's all they're doing is kissing behind. Kissing behind. Over and over and over. Over and over and over. And they say they bring analysts on. Specialists on. They're not specialists, nor they're analysts. If you was an analyst, you will have critical thinking. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You will have critical and analytical thinking. There's nothing critical about these people that's coming on these TV shows. That they bringing up here. 
They bring the compromising Negro. And you never heard me one time use profanity in what I'm saying. You never heard me say the cracker. You never heard me say white supremacy. You never heard me say none of that, right? You never heard me say that. But they scared of the truth. They are scared of the truth. Okay? They can't comprehend you, neither. So y'all want to up on the minister, right? But you're not talking about the people that took your land or some of you Africans that think you came from Africa. Why ain't you fighting them saying... We don't need to go to your court to change our names. Why are we saying that? Why do you pay to go change your name? Why you ain't telling us you're asking as you're paying where his green card at? This is nothing new that I'm saying. I've been saying this on radio. Ask the so-called European or white man where their green cards is at. If anybody takes this as racist, that's your business, baby. That's your business. I'm saying to you, if you really want to make a change and ask them where their green card's at, to be anywhere... My mother said, respect those that respect you. But yet you have cops eating brothers down in the street. And these so-called Negroes don't get on here and talk about police terrorism. These so-called Negroes get on these social medias and talk about police brutality when brutality does not exist in law. Let me say this one more time for y'all. Brutality does not exist in law. Period. Not one iota. It's called domestic terrorism. That's what it is. But you got all the educated Negroes on here, right? This is where you start studying law. Right? So, they took a land from you. And told you that you all came from Africa, but you ain't fighting against that though, right? No. Too much like right. We got to fight. That's why I don't want to touch that. No. No. Severe. But we're citizens. Enforce murder. Yup. But they're not going to talk about that, though. No, 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 no. They ain't going to talk. They don't want to touch that because it's too real for them. See, they're paid off to attack certain people. This man is 84 years old. Why you still try to attack him? What, what is the power that this man has, the Minister Farrakhan? What power does he have? What influence does he have in 80 balls? So let's go. So you want to come? Let's go. Let me show you all something. This early Spanish main book. Maybe these college professors will actually talk about this. The Aboriginal Conditions of the Islands. These are the original Indian people. Cubans, Haitians, Puerto Ricans. Jamaicans in the Bahamas. These, okay? These are the original Americans. They were the first people to be called Indians. They don't teach them HBCUs. Yeah, they yeah, they're using Farrakhan to create a race war. And Negroes want to go for it. You okay? This is what it is. You should share this to a melanated cop. Oh, I know some of them are watching this anyway. It don't matter to me. They're watching. You ain't never lied. They are them. They have come to be called Tainos. Airwax. So these are the original aboriginals. So let me show you this just for CNN, just in case CNN be watching this. This is a Webster's Dictionary. It's something like that. This is a Webster's Dictionary. An Aboriginal, a one of the various copper colored. I look more copper colored than um, anything else. But this is copper. Okay, let's go on. An Aboriginal, one of the various copper colored natives found on the American continent. This is not a country. This is a continent. This is not a country. This is a continent, my educated fools. Continent. North America, Central America, South America. This is a continent, okay? Continent by the Europeans, the so-called white man, the original application of the name, Webster's Universal Dictionary, 1936. I'll let y'all marinate on that for a second. Is this plain enough for y'all? 
So they took a land from y'all. It took a land and Negroes don't want to fight back. Because you know why? Because they telling all y'all, y'all came from Africa. So if I told you you all came from Africa, you won't fight for what's underneath your feet. Are you with me? You don't have to go to an HBCU or a college to get this information. Do y'all see that? This is the type of conversations brothers and sisters be like, we need to have back on the radio. But they betting on y'all not supporting it. That's why. Are you with me? This is the original Indians. I done already showed you we can never be anti-Semitic. I done already told you to look up the Jewish kingdoms of Ethiopia. I mean, um, Kush, which is Ethiopia. No, they don't want another Haiti. They don't want another Haiti. Let me say this to our people from the Caribbean. We're one family. We're one family. All my people. I don't know what these other Negroes talk about. I don't know what they talk about. But we're family, baby. Don't get it twisted. And don't compromise your position for nobody. Okay? Don't do that. No, Haiti wasn't playing games. And Haiti still is not playing games. And it's not even called Haiti. It's called Ayati. Let's get that right. I hope CNN and Fox News. I hope y'all tagged us to CNN, Fox News, Don Lemon. Hit them up. Hit them up. I bet they, don't, they already know. So let's go back. Let's get into this. I told you they stole the land. I told you that Trump called, told women to grab their pussies. He don't pay taxes. We're animals. We're beasts. But y'all not fighting Trump, right? It's called distraction. I don't know. Because you know why? With Puerto Rico, y'all need to ask those questions. Puerto Rico is part of this. The light-skinned ones that think they want to be Europeans or white people because they get a privilege or a benefit. That's why. So watch. I'm going a little bit deeper. And I'm going to get off here. I told you I'm not going to be on here long. But I want y'all to share this out because I know the attention spans are very short. So Negroes, I want you to bring this up to black folks. I want to bring up the Dred Scott. Case. This is the Dred Scott decision. This. And I'm going to and I know some Negroes going to be on here and say, well, the 14th Amendment made us citizens. No, the hell it didn't. A free Negro or African race who answers was brought into this country. Remember, I told you it's not a country, right? So you got to find out what the country's name is. And so the slaves is not a citizen within the meaning of the Constitution of the United States. This is not a country. This is a continent. So long as I can keep you like this. Hold up. The descendants of Africa who, Africans who were imported into this country. Y'all need to ask the question, what's the name of the country again? And so that slaves, when they shall become emancipated, right? Or who are born parents who have become free before their birth are not citizens of the state in the sense in which the word citizen is used in the Constitution. Do you understand that? So we're not done yet because I know they're going to be some Negroes to say, well, the 14th Amendment made us citizens. No, the hell it didn't. The Constitution recognizes slaves as property and pledged that the federal government to protect it. This is why Negroes can only deal with civil rights issues. Did you know that civil rights is under the color of law and the color of law is under the civil rights, vice versa? They get privileges. That's why the 14th Amendment says all persons born or naturalized is subject to. And con look at this. And Congress cannot exercise any, any more authority over property of that description. Come on, man. That in, it may constitutionally exercise. Talk to me for a minute. This is the type of conversation that we should have on Fox News. Do y'all agree? Do y'all agree we should have this type of conversation on Fox News? But we can go after Minister Farrakhan, though, right? Oh, we're going to go after the minister. He's teaching hate. We teach. He's teaching hate. Oh, he's hateful. 
And they've been hating on us ever since because they know it's... Hold up. We're not done. I'm almost finished. Just trying to find one more page. So then does the Constitution apply to... Yeah. If you know... If, as a nation and a nationality, yes, it does. As a nation and a nationality. Bear with me. I'm going to show you that in one second. Let me sit this phone down for a minute. Yes, it does. Bear with me. Here you go. My mother's your... Listen, your mother, you are what your mother is. And it's not that they're not Moors, because everybody has melanin in them, people. Everybody has that. This is why I tell people to get the book, Nature Knows No Color Line. Nature Knows No Color Line. We're not talking about if, you're, if this and that and the color. We're not talking about that. Everyone comes from us. But uh, bear with me for a minute. Everyone comes from us. Some people may not like that. You can't help who you were born from. But why are the African race born in a state, in the state, not permitted to share in one of the highest duties of citizens? This is a question, Dred Scott case. The answer is obvious. He is not. He is not. By the institution and laws of the state numbered amongst people. He forms no part of sovereignty. He forms no part of sovereignty of the state. This is what they should be on CNN talking about. So look at this part, right? Then you go to the Dred Scott decision in the law dictionary. I keep pulling this book up. Sovereign people, not sovereign citizen. Sovereign people, the political body consisting of the entire number of citizens and qualified electors who in their collective, collective capacity possesses the power of sovereignty and exercise them through their chosen representatives. See Scott versus Sanford. This is the case I'm reading. This is the case that Negroes should be picking up. This is the Dred Scott case. All this, which is back to this. That's it. So it's here. Not sovereign citizen, sovereign people. So, when folks sit up here and say, so you, oh, the 14th Amendment made us citizens. Do you understand what the minister is fighting, what we're fighting every day? He's fighting the injustice that is happening to our people, by people in high places, wickedness in high places. Not just Europeans, Negro pens, because they want something. Like you said, they want the crumbs from the table. The crumbs from the table. Hold up. Let me pull out my little dictionary right here for the Negroes that think they citizens. Let me show you something. Aliens. A foreign born person, a person born in foreign country. An alien is a person within the meaning of the due process clause of the 14th Amendment. Do you see that? I didn't write it. Let me show you the front of the book by Educated Negroes. Mm -mm. Mm. Let me see. Mm -hmm. For my educated people. Persons. They're corporations. The term is necessary for the purpose of asserting to whom those whom the 14th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution affords protection. Now, didn't that Dred Scott case over there said that they have the federal government have to protect the property? When you read the 14th Amendment, it says all persons born or naturalized is subject to. I'm going to say this again. All persons born or naturalized is subject to. Y'all don't want to believe me. So maybe I'll show it to you. If I can find my constitution.
This is a little document right here, y'all. Oh, it's got the Dred Scott case in here, too. You see that? Dred Scott case is in here, too. The Constitution does not consider slaves as U.S. citizens. Rather, they are constitutionally protected property. You can buy this book, people. But y'all worried about Minister Farrakhan. You running around and telling me I'm a Democrat. I'm, I'm going to denounce Minister Farrakhan. There you go. All persons born or naturalized is subject. Subject mean that you under someone else, people. I'm going to say this one more time. Subject means you under someone else. That's what that means, just in case Negroes don't know. So, look what it says. Remember what I told you. Civil rights. You see that? I'm not a leader. I ain't knew it. I'm not a leader. I don't even want I don't even want that leadership title, baby. I don't want it. It comes with too much drama. Too much drama. I'll tell you. Enforce the law. Teach these people who they are. Give me one minute. I got one more thing I'm gonna show y'all. I've been on it too long. I said I wasn't going to stay on that long. So look. Share, share this with CNN. The color of law. This is the color of law. The appearance or sibilance without substance of legal right. Misuse of power possessed by virtue of state law. And made possible only because wrongdoers is clothed with authority of a state action taken under the color of law. Civil rights is under the color of law. See this? Is using the civil rights acts means the same thing as state action. So let me show y'all something. Didn't I just read this to y'all right here? Why do you think Negroes don't deal with human rights issues? See that? Why do you think Negroes cannot have any of your black attorneys talked about this? Have any people on CNN or Fox News talked about what I just showed y'all? Peace, my sister Khadija Muhammad. So, no, they haven't. They never told you they can't talk about human rights, but yet you want to beat up a man, an 84-year-old man who's been standing for 60 years for you. 60 years of these niggas that can't even stand a couple of days without bending. 60 years, I believe he did. But yet, Negroes can't stand at all. So listen, y'all, I'm going to get off of here. I told you I'm not getting into all of that. I just wanted to share this because somebody called me this morning. I'm not done yet. I'll be continuing this again. But I want y'all to ask these Europeans some questions, yo. I want y'all to ask Europeans questions. And why are you trying to attack Mr. Farrakhan the way the Negroes attacking him too? So for anybody to sit up here and talk about... Why more Democrats don't speak about, against Minister Farrakhan? You need to ask yourself, what is public? And why are they in the land from people? And why are they not telling our people that since people want to be on CNN and Fox News and all that, kissing behind? Okay? Yeah, I do too, sister. No doubt. No doubt I stand with him. And a nigga don't like it, so what the hell? What you eat don't make Sabir Bay doo doo. That's just me. I don't give a damn about what you think. I will go up against a European, and I've been doing it for a long time. A long time. And I ain't give up yet. Once you know your purpose and you know your power, once you know your power, nigga, anybody, and you think these people don't know who I am. They do. They act like they don't know who Sabir Bay is. Okay? So share this out. I got to go. I got to start my day. It's a shame I feel more... Wow. Okay? Peace, y'all. I'm out.